a pretty little thing like you doing out here all alone. No, no. I'm sorry, what? Group therapy. Have you thought any more about it? I really think that it would help you to spend some time around people who share your experience. My experience. Dreams again? Do we have to do this today? Yes. Please don't call me that. Come on, what, what is it? I mean, do, do I smell? I mean, have bad breath? I just don't like to be called Angie. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What, what happened to you? I, I'm just trying to be friends here. Why? What's wrong with being friendly? Jesus. Go make friends with Gloria. Or Saperstein. You're really tough. Look, not everybody's trying to get into your pants. No, not everyone. But you are. Nice tits. Great ass, too. All fast like that, huh, girl? You're looking good. Taking the back of Dingo's car, ain't that right, Dingo? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, where you going? Your name's Chief, baby. What's your name? Yeah. Oh, you, you you ain't got you ain't got no name. Okay, that's good too, baby. dreams when you're awake that means you're crazy doesn't it not necessarily are you having dreams while you're awake more like fantasies what do you fantasize about justice what about it you don't feel that you've received justice justice isn't something you receive it's something you dish out is that from a fortune cookie out there it's all predators and prey. You're either one or the other. What about friends? Everybody's after something. Protection, companionship, whatever. But you're either getting or giving, no matter what you call it. Maybe a bit narrow? You don't believe in altruism? Oh, you mean the do-gooders? Can't stand the do-gooders. They're the ones who think they really aren't after anything. They just want to be friends. 
Like that's some magical gift to the universe with no strings attached. Pretty bleak worldview. There's always strings attached. You lift? Nope. Come on, Ange Angela. Angela. You know, if you ask really nicely, I'm sure Saperstein will give you a handy in the supply closet. Look, not every guy's an asshole. But you never know that if you don't give somebody a chance. They say that rape is about power, not sex, but that's kind of bullshit. Of course it's about sex. It's very specifically about sex. To hurt you as deeply as possible. Complete devastation. Like when soldiers don't just defeat their enemy, they burn their villages and foul their water supply, you know? Don't just kill the natives, kill the buffalo. Kill what's sacred to them so the body is just a shell to be crushed beneath your boot. Thank you so much for sharing with us this night, Mallory. Your views are always illuminating. I do want to take a moment to welcome a new member to the group tonight. Everyone, this is Angela. Hi, Hi Angela. Now, Angela, as this is a sacred space where it is safe to share, I do invite you to share with us tonight. I'd rather not. That's okay. There's no pressure here. Everybody participates at their own pace. Now might be a good time to take a quick potty break and let you caffeine drinkers get your fix of free coffee. Are you all right, dear? Hi. I'm Oscar Koza. Spelled with a S-C-A, but pronounced like a Z. <laughs> Nobody gets it right. Angela Jatrenka. Oh, it's uh, Czech, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Jatrenka. Means morning star. Like Lucifer. I'm sorry? Lucifer was also called morning star. Venus is actually the morning star since it precedes the sun in the sky, but the Romans called it Lux Ferrer. Lucifer. I thought he was the devil. And God's most beautiful angel before the fall. He's one of the avenging angels, actually. You know a lot about this. Well, my daughter, she knew all the angels. She knew their names. She knew which one was for what, you know, all that stuff. Her room was just covered with angels, you know, just wings and. And I'm sorry, excuse me. She's dead. His daughter, I mean. The guy who raped her got up on some technicality. She killed herself. Cops and lawyers, right? He's way fucked up. I need a smoke. Want one? Been a while. <laughs> First group. Don't worry, I won't ask. I'm sure I'll hear all about it in one of our little weep sessions. How do you stand it? Huh. It's better than slitting my wrists. I think. Look, it's not. I mean, I keep coming back, you know? I must be doing something, but some days. Some days, I'd rather not think about it, you know? Of course, if I could do that, I wouldn't be here in the first place. Maybe I'll see you around. You're not going back in? I've had enough victims for one night. I'll see you next time, maybe.
What's up, baby girl? I'm putting it for you all night. All right, sweetie. Got something special for you. Something special? <laughs> I hope you've got a tennis bracelet down your pants, because there sure ain't nothing special about your cock. It is a cock, right? It's not just like a little puffy pussy. Now back off, bitch. Oh, is that the best you got? You're never gonna get laid with game like that, chief. Get a job and a nice car, not that piece of shit I see you driving around in. If you want pussy, you're gonna have to pay for it, because I really can't see anybody fucking you for free. <laughs> Thanks. It's a sad thing when a straight woman would rather eat pussy than fuck your sorry ass. Oh, fuck was that, man? Oh, God. Don't mind them. Her cock make them stupid. It's true. I saw it in a documentary. It sucks all the blood from their brains. The bigger their dicks, the dumber they get. You must be on the horse. <laughs> Come on, you're buying me a drink. I live right there. Where? On 14th. I'm on Elm. No kidding. We should scissor each other. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so... Chief's dad owns some, like, electronics franchise or something. He's hardly an urban gangster. Well, if it's an act, it scared me. Mm -hmm. I mean, do they have mothers and sisters? How do they learn to speak to women like that? You know what? I don't give a shit how women are spoken to or objectified by rap, music lyrics, or whatever. I mean, people got raped in palaces where everybody spoke poetry. I'd rather he talk to me like that than pretend. At least it's honest. I mean, like, talking nice, it is just, like, dressed-up bullshit. Yeah. Like the do-gooders. Huh? Oh, nothing. There's this guy at my work who just wants to be friends. Oh, yeah. He wants you to say hello to his little friend, his very little <laughs> friend, most likely. <laughs> yes. No chance he's one of the good ones. There are good ones? Yeah, sure. And unicorns, too. Haven't you heard? <laughs> I tell you what. He does put a hand on you. You really ought to shank the bastard. I mean, it's an office, right? Grab one of those letter openers, jab it in his inner thigh, watch him bleed out. That's graphic. I'm sorry. I just say whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. All that political correctness is pretty irritating anyway. Mm -hmm. That group lady, Lynn, is really hard to take. She's a fucking idiot. Everything with her is healing and forgiveness. I can't take that turquoise Sedona bullshit. You know, you want to give these women hope, give them vengeance. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure that fixes anything either. Yeah, it fixes them. All these women in abusive relationships, they should be learning how to poison soup. Yes, but do you have any extreme views? <laughs> Look, I'm no angel. I've done some weird shit in the bedroom, but that was consenting, you know? When my ex came at me with his... That was it. I'm done. I'm not kidding. I'm not going to be handled again, not by, not by anybody. I mean, you trust someone, you let them in, they fuck you up. Fuck that, you know, and the cops won't help you. Nobody will help you. You have to do it yourself. You have to walk out and never look back. And if that doesn't work, you take a paring knife and you fillet it like a fish. You pull the guts out and you have to cut the fucking head off. How you doing? so grateful for this group. Thank you, Kensley. I want to get a beer after. Cassie. Yeah, sure. Are you ready to share? My parents got divorced when I was seven. My mom, she took it really hard. And, you know, really. Uh, well, it was a big deal when she met Ron. You know, because... She'd been so unhappy for so long, and now she was happy again, and everybody was, like, relieved. And Ron was, like, this big hero to everyone, which I always thought was pretty shitty when you think about it, you know? So, at first... At first, I didn't say anything. Like, when he started... <clears throat>
You know, the weirdest thing about it is that I still sometimes think about it, like all twisted around and stuff. Like I deserved it or something because of that. Because I didn't say something right away. Like that meant that I liked it or something. I don't know, it's, it's dumb or whatever. That's just the way I used to think about it. Are you kidding me? The guy still lives there. How is that even possible? Well, the stepdad, Ron, he denied it. And the mom never really believed that anything happened in the first place, so... So she just has to live with the guy who rapes her? Mm-hmm. And she's terrified, terrified that her mom's gonna find out about group. She thinks she's smoking pot with the neighbor. How fucked up is that? A teenager sneaking out of the house for rape counseling. They're shitty rape counseling. It's just what I'm always saying, you know? You give a woman a fish, and she makes dinner for a piece of shit husband. You teach the woman to kill the piece of shit husband, and she never has to make dinner again. A message of hope. It's yeah. beautiful, really. I mean, it's like an epidemic of browbeaten <coughs> women too afraid to stand up against abusive men. I mean, that's, that's family values for you. Wives and daughters trapped in little boxes stacked side by side in neat little rows with monsters in there torturing them year after year. That, that's the institution of marriage that everybody is so desperate to protect, where women are slaves to pedophiles and wife beaters. That's the way some of them want it. They get off on it. It can only come if they're getting the shit beat out of them. That's, that's the way mine is. Yeah, we're gonna need some shots. Oh my god. He's so drunk. Check it out. Adult circumcision? <laughs> if you need a pole that long. Eh, this is more like it. This shit is just laying out. Not locked up or anything. No background checks to buy one. And you could do some serious damage with some of this. See ya. I'm an old-fashioned girl with simpler tastes. <laughs> okay, okay, Madam Thor. Simplicity. Bare knuckle simplicity. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you wanted? It's not about what I want. Oh, can we skip the Freudian double talk, please? No. I call bullshit. You make a friend and you say it's because I wanted it? What do you want? Nobody out there is going to ask you that question because they don't give a shit. Do you? Do I what? Give a shit. You're a pain in the ass. I believe that's Carl Jung you're quoting, isn't it? Do you trust her? Do you feel like you can trust a new person? 
What about strings? You said everybody has strings attached. Do you still believe that? Absolutely. All right. Have a good day, Ron. Bye, honey. Uh, <gasps> Cassie, are you no, Why are we here? I was curious. Why? Some people deserve a dirty trick. Like a real dirty trick. And some people aren't strong enough to deliver it themselves. good person does the right thing, even when no one's looking. <clears throat> He's a real peach, ain't he? All right, can we be down with Lance by now? Almost. He goes home every day for lunch. Come on. but we already knew that. You see, we've been watching you, and we're gonna keep watching you. And if we see anything we don't like, we're gonna pay you a visit. <gasps> Do you understand, Ron? Please just... Do you understand, Ron? <laughs> just say it. I can't talk. <laughs> just say it. I, I understand. Please just don't... Shh, shh, shh. Listening again. Go to the cops. We'll find you. Harass anyone, eyeball anyone, so much as make one woman feel slightly uncomfortable, and we're gonna make you regret it. You are a piece of shit, Ron. Quit being a piece of shit. And if you don't, you will pay. You believe me, don't you, Ron? Oh, good. Now, since I... I can't have you following me. Whoops. Wink. Oh my god! Oh my god! Can you believe that shit? Whoa! What did you do, you crazy bitch? Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! I'm shaking! Oh my god, why didn't you tell me what you were doing? I was afraid you'd talk me out of it. I would have! What the hell? Holy crap! I can't believe we had to it! You bonked him on the head a lot. You could have killed him. I was trying to knock him out. No, but you just kept whacking him on the head. He's probably got a concussion. I'm sorry. This isn't funny. This is not funny. Screw that piece of shit. Score one for Cassie. 
<laughs> Let's go. Ron's buying lunch. <laughs> It's not like he admitted anything, but I don't know. It is different. You know, it meant a lot when he said it, you know? Even not saying what he's sorry for. And then he's been, I don't know, different, nicer. You know, I don't know what happened to him, but I hope he doesn't bump his head again and go back to how things were. At least now you know. He gets out of line again, you just whack him in the head. <laughs> I think we're all here to get away from violence. Don't you think, Marla? No, Lenny Lin Lin. No, I don't think that. In fact, I think the exact opposite of that. Maybe it's time this group of bitches started getting a little of their own. I gotta meet somebody. I thought we'd celebrate. Can you believe it? What? Cassie and Ron. I mean, it actually worked. Yeah. I gotta go. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Just... ex-boyfriend shit. <laughs> What's going on? I'm nothing. He's just got some stuff of mine I've been trying to get back. I should go with you. Nah, it's complicated. There's a restraining order involved, so I kind of have to go through channels. You know? Look, I'll meet you Thursday before group. For coffee? Yeah, sure. See you at Monty's. Hey there. Hey. Sorry to intrude. Um, I'm I'm going down to Pitts with uh, with Gloria and Saperstein for some drinks. If if you like to come, uh, it's 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 not a date. It's just coworkers going out for a beer. Actually, I I try to get Gloria to ask you, but she's um, she's kind of scared of you. Scared of me? She's sensitive, you know. And I'm a bitch. Oh no no I should sit down. No. I've been mean. I'm sorry. Uh, look, uh, I'm I'm meeting a friend tonight. I, I completely get it. Nah. But hey, ask me again sometime. I will. I will. Or have Gloria do it. You know, I'll try not to be so terrifying. <laughs> sure. Have a good night. Tidings, the worst, in fact. And I want you to prepare yourself. What? It's Marla. I don't know how else to say this. Our dear friend Marla Finch has passed. It's passed. I know, I know it's hard. She's passed on. She's she's crossed over. What the fuck are you talking about? Anger is a very normal reaction. The normal reaction to what? 
What are you telling me, Lynn? Are you telling me that Marla's dead? Stop fucking saying that and tell me what happened! Angela! I am sorry, I don't know. I was contacted by a police detective this afternoon. He told me that Marla had been found dead and that he needed to come here to speak to the group tonight. How did she die? I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know. I know it's a terrible shock. I think that we need to be here for each other. This is a safe place where we can feel and react and start the mourning process together. Detective McDillon. He's here from the police department. Please sit down. <clears throat> Should I, uh... Yes, please. <clears throat> uh, hi, everyone. First of all, I really appreciate you letting me come and talk to the group tonight. As most of you are already aware, early this morning we did discover the body of Miss Fitch. Now, this is a homicide investigation. I myself, I'm actually with SVU, a special victims unit, often assists. I thought SVU dealt with rape crimes. Uh, well, we do deal with assaults, yes. But SVU also assists in homicide investigations when there's issues of abuse. Was she raped? Oscar, Oscar uh, Koska, right? My name is Koza, Mr. Koza. Now, I don't mean to offend you, Officer McDillon. It's detective. Okay, detective, this is a sacred circle. It's a place of trust, and I don't think it's an appropriate venue for you to be doing your, your, whatever the hell it is that you're doing right now. Oscar, Detective McDillon is an invited guest. Well, I most certainly did not invite him here, Lynn, and I would not have invited him here, and I think it was a big mistake for you to do so. Okay. I have the floor, sir. I have the floor. Okay. You know, okay. see, this is... This is exactly what I was afraid of. The police, they don't care about us. They don't care about the victims. These guys with their investigations, all they want to do is document things. They want to dot their I's and cross their T's. You know, our friend is dead, sir. And while you're doing your stupid paperwork, a beautiful girl is dead. Oscar! Oh, my goodness. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, look, guys. All I'm trying to do here is just figure out her whereabouts in the past 48 hours. So anything you can think of that might be helpful, I, I really appreciate it. Just anything at all. I... Okay, um, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee and um, I'm gonna hang around for a little bit and if you can think of anything, please don't hesitate, I'll be right over there. Okay, thank you for your time. Sorry about Oscar. He's a bit high strung. Yeah, he seems that way. It's... His daughter was raped. And then the guy who did it got off on a technicality. She killed herself. So he's earned his distrust of the police. Jesus. Can you tell me what happened to Marla? Um... She was a friend of mine. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. Maybe I can help you. Yes, absolutely. I've, if you can think of anything suspicious or anybody who maybe had any kind of problem with her, anything at all. So she was definitely murdered? Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, she was. Was she assaulted? I can't really discuss specifics of the case. It was her ex-boyfriend, wasn't it?
Would you let me buy you a decent cup of coffee somewhere? Sure. I know a place. Great. Well, it doesn't make sense. She knew better than to put herself at risk. People do stupid shit. <laughs> you know, even the smart ones. I can't tell you how many times strong-seeming women refuse to press charges when their boyfriend or husband smacked them around or worse. And you're right, it doesn't make sense. She was smarter than that, I'm telling you. She would not have put herself in some kind of a situation with somebody who could hurt her. If you know something, you should tell me. Uh, it's nothing. It's... No, no, I... You should. You should tell me. I think you want to tell me, so. It's... She was a strong girl. Hard. You think maybe she was into weird shit, like uh, rough sex, or? No, that's not what I'm saying. You guys were close? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I liked her. But I only knew her a few weeks. We used to come here. She made me feel strong. What? Nothing. I just, I see this stuff all the time. You know, it's the strongest seeming people, the rock everyone leans on, but at home, they... No, she was strong. She did not take any shit. Except from her ex-boyfriend, right? No. He attacked her and she left. Yeah, the last time. But there are a ton of domestic abuse calls on her file. And again, I didn't know your friend, but like I said, I see it all the time. These guys, they have a way of getting under a girl's skin and they can't shake them. This guy is a real piece of shit, though. And I tell you something, I'd be very surprised if it wasn't him. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I shouldn't, uh... I can't really discuss any details, you understand? Listen, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I appreciate it. And I'm really sorry about your friend. I am. I will do everything I can to bring her some justice, I promise you. Rick Dillon, you don't bring her justice. You bring it to him. Damn zone is stress. Where's your dyke and son on with tonight? What's the matter, Sudi? Should you for a real man? Don't worry, I got what you need. The chief will take care of you. You don't need that dyke, bitch. and just very good at hiding it? Or if she was outmaneuvered? That's an interesting choice of word. What do you mean by that? Just that maybe things didn't go as she planned. Well, what do you think she had planned? I don't know. Not being dead. She wasn't weak. A history of abuse doesn't mean she was some fucking loser who brought it on herself. Then what do you think it means? Hey! Why the fuck are you always lurking out here? I'm 
just walking to my desk. What's the matter? Nothing. He walked? How is it that he walked? He's fucking guilty. You said so yourself. Okay, okay. Listen. I'm really sorry, okay? These things are complicated, and unfortunately, the good guys don't always get to win. Who are the good guys? You? I'm not a lawyer. I'm not the DA. I... So it's her own fault she was killed because she was weak or scared or stupid? I don't know what happened. I don't. I am truly sorry, okay? I know there's nothing I can say to make that any better, but... I don't want you to say something. I want you to do something. What? What can I do, Angela? There is a system in place, okay? And most of the time, it actually works. For who? Not for rape victims. Not for my dead friend, Marla. Listen, you think he did it. I think he did it, but there is a burden of proof here. And you want that, do you understand? Otherwise, someone could just point their finger at you and send you to jail because they feel like it. He's guilty. What do you want me to say? They didn't fucking prove it. You I... didn't fucking prove it. I didn't do that. He rapes and murders, my friend, and you just let him walk away. Not wearing a cape and a utility belt. I'm a cop. I did my job. It's not all up to me. Yeah? We'll keep up the good work. Angela! Angela! looking at me so I look at a lot of people I know you're interested I'm not interested I want to be very clear with you I don't want your attention I want you to walk away and leave me alone hey come on no I said no come on you know you want to feel it what, your pathetic little excuse for a cock? I thought that was your clitoris. Is that all you got, pussy? You hit like a girl. You think you're funny, you pretty cunt? Come on now, smart mouth. Do something useful with it. You know you like it rough. <laughs>
Not just the tip, sweetie. Just the tip, sweetie. Rush. And what is it that makes you so angry? Because it just keeps happening. People are such animals. Only they're even worse because an animal doesn't relish in the pain it causes. An animal doesn't get sadistic pleasure from torturing others. Only humans are that cruel. You're human. Do you get sadistic pleasure from committing acts of cruelty? Fuck yeah, I do. Sometimes. Oh, Angela, Angela. There's a detective here to see you. Is everything okay? Or... No. I've really got a lot of work to do. Can we play cops and robbers later? Where are you on Tuesday night? Is this official police business, or are you stalking me? Marla's ex-boyfriend was murdered on Tuesday. Somebody beat him to death with a crowbar, amongst other things. What are you saying? You think I did it? No, no, but Bolton's definitely gonna want to talk to you. Who's Bolton? Lead homicide, it's her investigation. What do I have to do with anything? Well, you did come on pretty strong when he got out, right, so. So now I'm a murder suspect? She's gonna want to talk to all Marla's friends. I barely knew her. Well, she didn't have very many friends outside of groups, so. She didn't have any friends in groups. She hated everybody. Except you. Look, you said yourself that this guy's a scumbag. I mean, maybe it has nothing to do with Marla at all. No, the nature of the crime suggests otherwise. So what? I mean, he was murdered. So was my friend. And if there's no justice for her, then why should there be any for him? He was a piece of shit. And to be honest, I'm glad that somebody killed him. Well, that's exactly what you don't want to say in this situation, okay? God damn it! You're more interested in catching his killer than you are in punishing hers! Listen, you have to calm down, okay? Or Bolden is going to have a field day with you, trust me. Okay? Thank you for telling me. I appreciate it. But you know, if I'm not under arrest, then I really need to get back to my shitty job. Okay, hey, Angela, look. For what it's worth, I am sorry you're mixed up in all this, okay? We should really leave the murder investigations to the homicide detectives. I'm sorry. I, I just, I can't listen to this anymore. It's too awful. You gotta stop! Somebody, somebody needs to stop this horrific man. He must be stopped and he must be punished. Cruelly punished. No, no, Lynn, no. Someone should hurt him. He should hurt. He should, he should be anally violated with a metal pipe. No! Somebody should do something! Somebody should do something! <laughs> Thank you. 
sorry we're closed for the night. Very sorry. I hate to bother you, but I've been back and forth like three times, and I just can't find this address. The buildings don't have numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it's tricky around here. Sweetie, this is, this is close. It's just a few blocks that way. Oh, that's what I thought, but I just keep going back and forth. You know, this isn't the best neighborhood, and, and this isn't far. What if I walk you? That'd be great. Okay. okay. Let's go. Well, this is the address. I don't like the looks of it. Me neither. Maybe I should come in with you. Hello? Weird place. I like it. Yeah. Wanna play? What's the matter? You don't like me, Daddy? Oh no, I like you just fine. I'm not too grown up, am I, Daddy? <laughs> I'm a bad little girl. Daddy. Sure you can get it up for someone over 17? We told you we'd be watching. how it feels to be raped over and over again. I didn't do anything to Cassie. Cassie. I didn't say a name. Is there something you want to tell me? She... We had trouble, she and I, but... But, but, it, but it's better now. Huh? Did you pose for Cassie? Please. Do what you made Cassie do. Come on. Puck her up. <laughs> you suck at oral, Ron. longer. I'm sorry. I have a God. I have a family. <laughs> Don't you dare try and use that. Please. I'm begging you. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> You will be. You don't deserve the lubricant, but it just won't go in otherwise. Oh, God, please don't. Please. Please, please don't. Please, please, I'll do anything you want. Please, just tell me what you want me to do. 
<laughs> That's a tough one, Ron. Because what I want you to do is suffer. Oh, no! I'm begging you. I, oh, 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 God! Out. It's barely even in there. We have a long ways to go. No! No! Oh God! Still. It's hard to hit when it's wiggling like that. No! 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 Father, for I don't give a shit. Do you even want forgiveness? Only people who are sorry can be forgiven. Are you sorry? Don't you think that if you get even with somebody, then they have to get even with you and the problem perpetuates itself? Not always. Like when? Do you have any remorse for what you've done? Why should I? Have you considered that forgiveness might be a way for you to release some of the anger that you've been carrying around? So am I forgiven? Do you forgive yourself? You're not responsible for what happened to you. Some people do bad things. They make bad decisions. Maybe somebody did bad things to them, but the only way out is forgiveness. I'll never forget them. They deserve to be punished. But does that really help you heal? Maybe not, but at least they got what they deserved. Do you think you deserve to be punished? Should we wait for Lynn or just start without her? <clears throat> Everyone, I'm sorry for the intrusion, but this is the police. You don't say. I'm Detective Gwen Bolton. This is Homer and McDillon. I guess you've already all met. We'd like to ask you all some questions. Jesus. You must be Mr. Koska. It's pronounced Koza. Why don't we start with you? Can we get a couple chairs? Just set them aside so we can speak to Mr. Koska. Koza. And if this has anything to do with Marla Finch, I hardly knew the woman, okay? So why don't you just leave me out of this? You know Ron Merrick? I most certainly do not. Oh, I think you do. You threatened him the other night. I did no such thing. Right here, in group. Something about a pipe? Hmm. Does that ring any bells, Mr. Koska? Koza! Mr. Koza. Hey. Remember me? I'm Detective McDillon. I'm not delusional, Detective. I know who you are. You don't have to handle me. Okay. What about Cassie? Remember Cassie from group here? Huh? 
Cassie's stepfather, Ron Merrick, was murdered. Now that's three murders with ties to this group. Marla, her ex-boyfriend, and now Cassie's stepfather. I didn't... Come on, guys, come on. I come to group because it's supposed to be a safe place to share things. Hey, listen, all we're asking that you consider us just new members of the group just oh. for tonight, okay? Maybe we can find out something that might be helpful. We might not find anything, but we'll never know if we don't ask, right? There's three murders, guys. You, we have to be here. We have to talk to everybody. You understand that, right? I mean, you'd want that. You don't want us to make any mistakes, right? You prick. How dare you? Now, now you're supposed to be all caring for us? Well, you know what? I think we'll have a little more privacy down at the station. You can share with all of us downtown, Mr. Koska. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me! Get your hands off me! Well, that was real subtle. I handled that very well. Bring them all in. What? Hey, what's going on with Oscar? Oscar is spending the night with us. You don't really think he killed Cassie's stepdad. He's not capable of something like that. Well, maybe you don't know people as well as you think you do. He's got a history of making threats, did you know that? The accused in his daughter's case, the DA, the lead investigator. These are the kind of threats people remember, too. Did he actually do any of it? Has Oscar actually hurt anybody? I don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. Okay? So if you excuse me, I'm going to get back to my shitty job. Change your mind. I'm, I'm a good listener. Thanks. It's all right. Oscar. What are you doing here? I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Do you have a few minutes? I read about your daughter's case. They really botched it. It's bureaucracy. All these functionaries who only know how to push paper around. When the facts don't match up with the paperwork, they discount the facts. They lost his DNA, so he didn't rape my daughter. Yeah. I bet his high-priced lawyer paid someone to lose it. They couldn't move forward without it. No, without physical evidence, it's her word against his. And they, they made her out to... to look like a slut. And it devastated her, just, it just ruined her. And all this time, knowing this guy Watson is still out there. Why are you suddenly so interested? Because I know how your daughter felt. Hopeless. One of the guys who raped me was a cop. You never talk in group. You never say anything. There were five of them. I thought the sheriff would protect me. I was wrong. Were they caught? They weren't arrested, if that's what you mean. <laughs> you know, you, you tell your kids to trust the authorities, right? Call 911, call the cops. Emma didn't want to do it. I had to convince her to do it. I told her, you've got to do this. 
You've got to report this guy. He's just going to do it to somebody else. But the day that this guy walked, I'll never forget the expression on her face, the, the disappointment that she had in me. Not in the cops, not in the lawyers, but in me. Because I told her to do it. I let her down. I think justice has a way of finding people. Yeah, well, I've given up on justice. How did her rapist get a restraining order against you? I thought if he saw my face that he wouldn't forget her, that maybe he would confess. He owned this gym. That's where it happened. So I went there every day and I talked to everybody who went in and out of that place. I wanted them to know what he did. So what does he do? He turns around and he sues me for libel. He gets a restraining order against me. He sold that gym, but he's still a fucking trainer. Some sleazy place on 17th Street. They made it sound like you were dangerous. <laughs> Come on, look at me. Compared to Watson, that creature. But I should have done something. I should have done something to make things right. Even if it meant me going to jail for the rest of my life, I should have done something. But you're not talking about punishment. You're talking about vengeance taking the law into your own hands. I'd rather that than leave it in nobody's, which is where it is now. You believe that? Don't you? Set aside for a moment the countless rapists who go unpunished. What about people like Cassie's mom, serving her daughter up to a monster? She gets a big pass. She's not even in the system. Who's gonna make her pay for what she did? That's not your job. Don't you think she's been affected by her decisions? No, that's bullshit. I saw her and she looked fine to me. Everybody has their own problems, their own destiny. You need to worry about your choices and actions. I thought that was your job. You know what I'm hearing? Is that after everything you've been through, you have essentially learned nothing. No, I've learned a lot.
head right now you following me hands on your head get on the ground now is this coup's bait that it entrapment put your hands on your head and get on the fucking ground now fuck you big You all right? Yeah. You up for a few questions? Sure. Great. Okay. Let's see. The knife was yours, right? Yes. The taser, I'm not sure about because it had your fingerprints on it as well as his. It's mine. I was raped. Of course, I don't go out without defensive weapons. Naturally. And now, why were you in that part of town? I was looking at a gem on 17th. On 17th? So you were eight blocks north of there? Oh, I got lost going home. Thought someone was following me. I guess I panicked. Why not a gym in your own neighborhood? Can't afford it. All right, well, the gym explains the change of clothes. You found my bag. Good. But not the lighter fluid. I was returning it. To whom? Store. It was the wrong kind. For what? A lighter. I started smoking again. Well, it was used. I opened it before I realized. What store? Pharmacy on 15th. Where was the receipt? In the bag. And the man? Who is he to you? The man who attacked me. Hmm. So who's the little girl in the picture? It's just a girl. Just a girl whose picture you wear around your neck? It reminds me of something. Oh? What? Innocence. You need to be reminded of that? I know who she is. Chastity Storch. Her father was a Louisiana sheriff. Killed in a murder-suicide with some inbred redneck buddies of his you know there was one missing piece someone the police wanted to talk to jennifer hills why'd you change your name i didn't want to be jennifer hills anymore all right let's just cut the shit okay we've got you you understand? Do you understand? See this? All this? It's just a process. You know, the system. But it's done. We're not idiots, Miss Hills. And you know, it's, it's actually a very easy storyline to follow. You become Betty Buddy with Marla Finch from Group, and, and you know, yes, that was a terrible, terrible thing that happened to her. And the boyfriend walks, and you snap. I understand that. I honestly do. And there are some days, whew, I want to do the exact same thing. And then that girl, oh, what was her name? Cassie. Jesus. I can't imagine what it was like sitting there, listening to that little girl Talk about being raped by her stepfather and not wanting to shove a pipe up that guy's ass. That's, that's actually what your buddy Oscar suggested doing, right? <laughs> that exact same thing, huh? You know what? Hmm. Now that I think about it, Lynn seemed especially upset about it all. Have you looked into her whereabouts? Yeah, well, we didn't find Lynn in a fight to the death with Cole Watson. 
Who's Cole Watson? Yeah, don't kid yourself, Jennifer. We're looking at full-blown, premeditated murder. That guy attacked me. And if you hadn't shot him dead, he would have killed me. Now, I'm guessing they're not going to charge you because you're cops. <laughs> it's funny. You should hold on to your sense of humor. You're going to need it. Do I get a lawyer? Or is that just for people who you haven't already decided are guilty? She wants to make her phone call. Detective McDillon! I did it. Everybody get back, get back. Get back. I killed them all. No! I killed them all. I did it. Call the ambulance! Call the ambulance now! I murdered them. I murdered them. I murdered them. I murdered them. Hey, Angela. Well, I'll give you a ride. Go fuck yourself. I'm sorry about Oscar, okay? I'm sure you are. Just let me give you a ride. I'm trying to help you out here. Get like you care! You fuckers are no better than the rapists. Let me ask you something. Did you spend this much time investigating Marla's ex? Or were you saving that all for me? Honestly, if I had any idea how incompetent the police were, I would have spent my life hiding in fear. Angela, don't leave town. I'm serious, you skip bail, you're fucked. Oh, I'm fucked already. So are we gonna talk about it? What's there to talk about? Are you gonna tell me that you ran into a door or fell down the stairs? <laughs> yeah. Like you wanna hear the truth. Try me. The truth is you want justice. You take it for yourself. No one can give it to you. Is that how that happened? You're damn right it is. Maybe you were able to exact some justice, but it doesn't seem to have brought you any peace. I'm not finished yet. Buy me a drink. I think you've already had a few. Let me give you a ride home. I bet you want to give me a ride. I'm sorry, excuse me? You can drop the polite act. Come on, Angela, man. Let me. Let me just take you home. I thought you wanted to fuck me. Whoa, hey, I don't. I don't know. What is this? What do you want it to be? Yo, Angela, come on, man. You are completely freaking me out right now, okay? Look, look, I'm gonna go. You gonna be okay if I go? Do you think I need a cock to protect me? No. Is that a knife? What? This? Yo. Yo, what the? Yo, Angela, what is wrong with you?
Hey, honey. Showing it off, huh? That's real nice. Let's see what you're working with. Mm, this is sweet ass. You know, if you're gonna show it off like that, you don't let me have some. Is that how it works? Do I have to wear a sheet to keep you from raping me? Fuck. I'm about to rape anybody. Damn. What happened to your face? I fell in love. What? What's the matter? Don't you like me anymore? Bitch, you better back the fuck up. Come on, Chief. I thought you had something you wanted to show me. <laughs> Come on. You gonna turn down a little blowjob? What? <laughs> you serious? Why don't you come over here? Find out for yourself, tough guy. Wait, what? Right here in the middle of the park? It's not gonna take that long. Play needs work. Hey! Hey, hey! Stop right there! Okay. Okay. Take one step and I'll slit his fucking throat! Hey, Angela, put the knife down and get off him, okay? Are you gonna read me my rights? It's okay. Just put the knife down, okay? I have the right to remain silent. Ah! Angela. If anything I say. No, don't put the weapon down! Can and will be Angela, go! used against me. Time's up. So soon? <laughs> uh, feels like we were just getting started. And yet, it's been two years. You're out of here Friday. How about you try to keep out of trouble? You think you can go three days without fighting? Maybe. But if somebody steps up... Well, you have a choice in how you react. You don't always have to retaliate. Predators and prey, Doc. All right, a condition of your probation is that you continue therapy, and I hope that you will try finding a new group. I know you had a bad experience, but... Can you just set down the attitude for an hour and try to stay open? Yeah. All right. I will. Really? That's great. You know, you can make better choices for yourself. I worry about you. I know you do. And I appreciate it. Okay, then. You can wait for me outside, please. Wait for me outside. Bitch! 